I used to live a normal life, but when the war started, everything changed in my life. When the war started, I was eight years old. My father had a store and he worked as a carpenter. He was having a normal life, quiet life. Everything turned like into hell. My school had destroyed completely. I lost a lot of people in my life. My father died in, in 2015. After two years, like I look at myself, my father loved to help people. I'm sure that if I did something that's help people, he maybe would be proud of me. Then I got the idea of do some videos. I am Hamad Najib. I am 15 years old. It is my school which has become a target for Putin and Assad. You are killed by your silence. Bashar Assad, Putin and Kamitni killed our childhood. I first stumbled across Muhammad's videos when I was working at CNN. I asked him questions, we verified his identity, and we published a story about him. A human catastrophe is unfolding in eastern Ghouta, and a powerful voice emerging from the conflict is coming from a boy trapped inside the war zone. 15-year-old Mohammed Najem is calling what is happening in eastern Ghouta genocide, and he says global silence is allowing it to take place. Overnight, it went viral. Mohammed was famous, but that put a target on his back. A few days later, the airstrike came. Muhammad and his family were buried alive. They dug their way out. Most of them survived, including Muhammad. Soon after, Muhammad and his family escaped Syria for Turkey, smuggling flash drives full of his original video reports across the border. Now an internationally famous journalist living in Turkey, Mohammed is still reporting, telling the truth about Syria. This is his story. And um, I think this job, helping people, I'm sure if my father is still alive, he will be proud of me.